So here is the GitHub link of uh, DMD library, which is from Freetronix. And this DMD library is used in Arduino environment and is pretty popular and used in most P10 projects implemented on Arduino. Okay, so all the documentation, uh, the details is here. And there's one more library called DMD2. It is much more enhanced version. If you are interested, you can even explore that. But in our example, we are going to use DMD library only. So here you can see that there are course CPP files which have the DMD algorithm implementation. Along with it, you can also see some .h files which are the bitmaps of all the characters what we are going to display on the dot matrix display. So if you open one of the files, you can see that contains attributes about all the characters, let's say size, height, width, character count, then character widths, then you can see the font data. So if you shift out these data into P10 display, you will see the appropriate character. Okay. Now, what are the things we should take care if we want to port this into our STM32 environment? Okay, so the first and foremost thing is that if you open dmd.cpp, so you can see here that it uses SPI protocol, right? And also along with it, it uses some pins to talk to the DMD display. Now, what we have to take care is that, so what we have to do is that we have to substitute these functions with the functions available in the STM32 ecosystem. Okay, so here I'm showing you how I have connected my P10 display. If you see, this is the schematics of my board, which is Nucleo F030R8. And on the right side, we have the Morpho connector. And if, let me just zoom in. On the Morpho connector C10, I have connected output enable on PC9, PC8 to line A, PC6 to line B, PC5 to clock, PA12 to data, PC4 to store clock. You can basically connect to any of these pins. But what you have to take care is that these pins are configured appropriately. What I mean by that is that, let's say here we have data line, right? Which is set to high, digital write high. And as you can see that in Arduino ecosystem, when you write high, automatically the initial state of that pin is high. Okay. Now, one more thing, what worth noting in our application is that if you don't have spy okay you can also have a bit bang implementation now i'm not going to talk about bit banging you can find a good amount of literature in the internet so what i'm going to do is that directly jump in and achieve the communication protocol of spy via bit banging okay so one more thing which is worth noting is that DMD right pixel is the ultimate function which is getting called from various functions, okay, in C++ methods. So here you can see that internally it stores all the data in a huge buffer and based on what pixels to light up, you are going to give X and Y axis. Okay. Now, what are these X and Y axis? Let me open dmd.h. And here you can see that I have just have a representation of a P10 display. If you consider the coordinate system, you can have X axis and Y axis. So the top left is 0, 0 and the bottom left is 32, 16. Okay, in this example, it is 32 pixels by uh, 16 pixels. So in coordinate system, this is how you keep track of the pixels.
pixels. So what ultimately the right pixel does is that it determines which pixel to light up and which pixels to switch off. Okay. Next we have scan display by spy. So this function should be called periodically okay, to shift out the data present in the RAM buffer onto the P10 display. Okay. So as I mentioned, we are going to substitute this function spy.transfer with our appropriate transfer function and also you can see that initially the rows 1 5 9 13 are clocked out then subsequently 2 6 10 14 are clocked out and so on now this function is called should be called four times so that you can light up all 16 rows in a 32 pixel wide and 16 pixel high the p10 display okay what if i have more than 32 pixel wide and 16 pixel high display when you're creating a dmd object you can see that we have to pass what is the width and what is the height of our dmd display with this automatically an appropriate screen buffer ram is allocated and each bit in that buffer represents a pixel so let's port this dmd library into stm32 ecosystem and we can have some example implementations of our own in stm32 if you have any questions please do write them in the comment box and please do like share and subscribe thank you